what we know for sure that he wrote the Edda, which is basically a textbook written to conserve the cosmology of the people of the North, the Nordic people. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't know anything about Odin, yeah. or Thor, or Freyr, or Freya, Loki, yeah. and all the gods and goddesses. And not only that, we wouldn't know anything about Middle Earth. Of course. And this is important. I think so. People often think that the sagas are, are too archaic to have any, any importance or influence in our modern times. But then we think Tolkien, who was the most successful writer of the 20th century, and he spoke The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, the most sold literature of the 20th century. And he was a scholar of Nordic literature and basically had no qualms about admitting that the, he lifted the whole idea of Middle-earth out of the Snorra Etta. Yeah. And not only that, the connection is much deeper. Tolkien, as he was starting out his uh, book The Hobbit, it was just a story for his children to start off with, but then he became more serious about it. And then he figured, oh, uh, it would be really neat to have some Icelanders around. So he hired in succession five Icelandic girls to work in his home as uh, au pair, you know, the, okay, to yeah, guard yeah, sure. his children. Working at the house, yeah. But it was very useful. You know, I actually interviewed one of the, these ladies. She was getting old when I got to her. Oh, wow. But uh, she had very vivid memories of her stay with the Tolkien family for a year. And she told me Tolkien, uh, he got up really late. Right, 11 as he was in his office. Okay. And then one of her jobs was to bring him the morning tea. <laughs> and each time... English style, correct. Each time he did, he would hand her a, a piece of paper. He, of course, knew all the words on it, what they meant, but he didn't know exactly how they were pronounced. And this is why it was useful to have Icelanders around to pronounce the words. And she did this often. One morning she came, uh, into his office and he handed her a piece of paper with 23 names on it. All names of dwarves that were, had been lifted out of Völuspá, which is appendix to the Edda. Okay. In the uh, Völuspá there are well over 300 names of dwarves and he had chosen 23 of them that he wanted to uh, use in his books. Okay. So she said, okay, I'll read out the name, you know, and uh, Dwalin, <laughs> Bumper, <laughs> and all these course, words. Yeah. But she said, I was very surprised when the book finally came out. Mr. Tolkien, he had given a Dwarf's name to the wizard. <laughs> he, you can't call a wizard a Dwarf's name. I said, what? Yeah. And then, of course, I realized Gandalver is dwarf. a Dwarf's name. It means magic elf. And he had been tempted to give it to, to the wizard, Gandalf. 